Hi everyone, it is November 9, 2018. If you hear noise in the background, it's cats having a really good time playing. It is raining here, it is very cold, and if anybody saw my video on the feral cat situation here, feral that are not acting feral, um, well then you know that I have a cat problem. It's not the problem, it's not the cats, but it's the problem of people just not caring. Um, yeah, we have a lot of those. And I'm reading it in the comments section. All of you getting really fed up with all of the people who just don't care. This is a fire update. Things are not good in California. And I just have to say, you know, all of the people who refuse to even listen to you trying to get through to those in your community, your family, your friends, I don't know, I, I, a different tactic really needs to be um, taken with these people. We can't be scared of them. We cannot be scared of the shame that comes from them when they call us names and crazy and conspiracy theorists and all that. These people have to really be put in their place because they are absolutely contributing to this destructive nightmare that is affecting so many people's lives already. I, it's a thousand plus homes gone overnight with these fires. Two more out of control fires are on the move in Southern California, not far from the scene of Wednesday's terrible mass shooting. The Woolsey fire is what it's called, has burned dozens of homes and threatened 30,000 more. People in some neighborhoods have been told to get out. John Blackstone is on the scene in Oak Park, that's northwest of Los Angeles, where firefighters are battling through the night to save the homes there. John, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, the battle is continuing in this neighborhood where 15 to 20 homes here alone have already been destroyed. And across this uh, fire, some 30 homes, at least 30 homes, have been consumed. The conditions here are bone dry with erratic winds gusting 25 to 55 miles an hour, fanning the flames. The intensifying Woolsey fire has quadrupled in size in just hours. Firefighters are doing their best to battle the raging flames as they jump from one house to the next. With these high winds, it's really hard with the ember cast that's happened. It's really hard for us to save these, some of these homes. So what we're doing is putting a water curtain in between some homes to stop the fire from leapfrogging and catching other homes on fire. 30,000 people have been evacuated so far. We were there as flames overtook another Oak Park home, despite firefighters' efforts. Big problem firefighters are having here, even when they think they have this under control. Embers fall in another house, blown in by these strong winds, start another fire. The number of evacuees is expected to rise as embers push ahead of the fire. One evacuation center was even forced to close down as the flames spread. And just west of here, another blaze dubbed the Hill Fire, topped 10,000 acres yesterday. Hundreds of firefighters are still struggling to contain it. And why are these fires this fire so incendiary? Why? Well, we know why. And thank you to the subscriber who sent along, I'm sorry, this video. This was... Uh, the Hello, everybody. Today is the Northern California skies. Two days ago? No, November 2nd, sorry. Um, well, I've been hearing from a lot of you out in California how heavily sprayed you have been, how they are stopping rains from coming into your area to decrease those dry conditions that allow these fires to spread. Yes, these aerosols, these nanoparticulates, the aluminum, the barium, the strontium, uh, the lithium, they can dry out, dry out areas, the atmosphere. They can get rid of humidity. My God, we have the technology that has been 
used for a very, very long time and that we can't get through to people. It just means that more and more people are going down. I hate repeating the same thing over and over and over again, watching this evil destruction play out. I hate it. We're driving through Paradise, California. You can barely see anything, but this is the main drag of town. Several businesses have completely burned to the ground. If you take a look out the passenger side window right there, you can see there's a nice home on fire. We have passed by hundreds of homes burning as well as businesses. This looks like a, maybe it used to be a motel turned strip mall. That was not even on fire a couple minutes ago when we drove through here. Now it's going to be a total loss. They've gotten fire crews in here. It's taken a while. There aren't a lot of big roads in and out of Paradise, so they had to scramble people out of here, and the roads were really clogged up trying to evacuate. We saw lines of cars on the way out of here, and it was pretty hairy. There were flames and smoke right behind those cars to the point where we were starting to get concerned that maybe the evacuation wouldn't happen fast enough. Fortunately, it looks like everyone who did heed the evacuations was able to get out of this area, but a lot of businesses are going to be lost and hundreds and hundreds of homes in Paradise and around it are going to be lost as well. And I've heard that Paradise now is gone. Interesting, Paradise. Paradise is gone. Uh, that is the worst fire I've ever seen in my life. I've never been in that thick of a fire. I'm very scared. And I never felt like that before in my life, but I feel better now that I'm here. And please, people, when it says to get out, get out. They mean it. When I was up in Paradise, I was working this morning, and I saw the smoke up in um, Clark Road, and then all of a sudden I saw it getting darker and darker. So I came home and packed my stuff, and fire was coming down to Clark Road, both sides of the road. I left my animals behind, I left my cows behind. Um, I hope they're all right, but you know. At least I got my dogs and, and my family out on time. It's, this is getting very hard to take. So this is the area where Jane Tandy lives, and I'm sure a lot of you are concerned about those that you know that live in this area, and I want to um, let you know that Jane has been evacuated, and she wrote eight hours ago, we were evacuated, and now I just received another alert. The fire is now headed towards Agora, where we are now. I know something was wrong. I knew something was wrong when I smelled so much smoke here. We'll keep you posted on what's happening here, if I can. And she was able to. She left a another comment just about 44 minutes ago. We were evacuated from the hotel at 3.30 a.m. It's cleared here somewhat. It's heading towards Malibu now. And 101 is closed in both directions. Again. Um, I want to read some comments from others. Paradise is a gorgeous place with loads of apple, pear, and other fruit trees up on the butte with a fantastic view. Lots of conifers. Manzita. Man... <laughs> 
Hey guys. Sorry, and other trees. Lots of wildlife, too. The amount of wildlife that is having to suffer in a, a brutal death, I can't. How is it that people cannot see what is going on here? Now, you guys in California, I was on the opposite coast. Never have I heard so many fires take out so many homes raging on that can't be contained for weeks or months, spreading so quickly. In my mind, all of this over the last couple of years has been unprecedented, only getting worse. And on the opposite side of the country, in my mind, all of this begs questions. Tell me, is this something that is unprecedented for you as well? Watching the Hill Canyon fire from my backyard, it is Camarillo, Santa Rosa Valley, and into the hills going towards Pacific Coast Highway. It started not far from the shooting that took place last night. The winds came out of nowhere. This morning was still still and cool. I live right here in Camarillo. For all of the people who have left comments where you are living in this in these areas, I really hope to God that nothing happens to you, that you remain safe, I'm outside the campfire zone, Butte County, Paradise, California, monitoring on the VHF radio, TAC frequency. A lot of terrible drama playing out. Mandatory evacuations, among other things. Lots of elderly people trapped in their homes. Listening to dispatch now, it's nonstop, and the fires are burning cars, jumping highways. As I listen, they're rounding everyone up taking them to local grocery stores and churches and buses. I mean, people are living hell as I speak. Um, I'm in Chico, California. And I sure hope that I hear from my Chico subscriber, which I'm going to pause you and check my email right now. No, haven't heard from her. Um, they have evacuated many parts of Chico. I'm not sure if it's the whole of Chico. Anyway, they're calling it a campfire. Oh my God. And I can't say anything to anyone because they all are sheep living here. I'm just north of Ventura County. We knew this was coming when we saw the massive amounts of orchestrated spraying in the last two weeks, layering aerosol spraying like pancakes in the air. We watched the planes as they started spraying early morning throughout the days. I am, I don't doubt that they are spraying something prior to these fires that make these fires so incendiary and spread like wildfire. You know, things are so obvious now, and it's clear that we are at war. No, they're not dropping bombs or shooting bullets that are flying past your nose so that you could see that it's a war. But if you have been paying attention to what has been going on all over the world, but just here in this country, with all of these orchestrated weather events, because we do have the technology to create flash flooding. We have the technology to create and intensify hurricanes. We have the technology to create fires and take out homes, literally bring them to rubble dust and allow all of the trees and foliage 
and the plastic garbage cans to remain intact right around that home. And we still have people who just love to be stupid and mean and immature and call all of you names. That's what we are living. That is what we are living. You know, I, I, I know that that's what we are living. We've been living it every single day, 24-7, year in, year out. But sometimes when you see these events happening and you're like, so you get so enraged at these people who are acting like the the useful idiot allowing all of this to go on and they love they love being a useful idiot they love it because you can't it, it's and this has been my experience you cannot lift them up they bring you down and it's only because they're just part of the masses they happen to have a lot of support the support of the other useful idiot going, yeah, 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 good. Insult them. Call them names. Don't think. Watch TV. Watch CNN. Watch MSNBC. Stay stupid. I'm angry. And it's funny because before this video, I really felt like, just bursting into tears. And anger is a great mask of the despair that we feel. But I'm not going to hide anything that I feel. And for those of you who just don't understand that the human being has a range of emotion and that anger is part of that range. All of those who feel like they have to deny their anger because they're just so spiritually great and they've been able to work out their anger, that negative emotion. Oh, I, I can't go there. I am... Jane Tandy, trying to wake people up, trying to educate people about the aerosol spraying. There she is, YouTube, Facebook, trying to get the word out, living the nightmare, suffering the consequences, fibers coming out of her skin, or I'm not sure if I got that exactly right. Her daughter also suffering the consequences. She can't get through to her family. And now she's been evacuated twice. Yes, this upsets me. It upsets me. So, uh, this is just some uh, news from the papers. Butte County wildfire grows to 70,000 acres. Campfire threatening 15,000 structures. Tens of thousands of people were forced to leave their home Thursday as a destructive wildfire continued to grow in Butte County, prompting more evacuation orders. Pretty much the community of paradise is destroyed. It's that kind of devastation. The wind that was predicted came and just wiped it out. <clears throat> wiped it out. I have posted many videos going through those published papers on scalar technology and how they can create wind coming out of nowhere. The town of Polga and Paradise have been told to evacuate. Parts of East Chico evacuated. Wildfire has not moved into city limits. The severity of this fire is without compare. 
Below is the latest list of evacuations. People are just cemented to the lie. They love the lie. So they're going to go with the climate change bullshit. It's climate change. That's why we're seeing now fires, uh, breaking records, and it seems like every fire now is without compare. Oh, the next fire, without compare. And you would think that fires that happen, let's say, just within a two-year period, oh, no, let's make it a little bit more obvious. In a one-year period, we've had so many fires in California that are without compare. Do you really think that climate change is changing that rapidly to make every fire worse and worse and worse? They are doing something. I'm speaking to the, I'm not speaking to you guys. I'm, I'm speaking to those who are sitting around doing nothing, never doing any research, and they refuse to even listen to you guys. All right, so these are the latest list of evacuation orders, the area of Sterling City, uh, in, in, um, Inskip, areas of Chico, and I'm, you can click on the link below if you have people living in this area to find out where they have been um, evacuating people from. The evacuation shelters are also on this site. Windy conditions, low humidity. Windy conditions, low humidity, over and over again. Malibu, evacuated, 13,000 residents. Overnight evacuations of an estimated 75,000 homes in western Los Angeles County and eastern Ventura County. 75,000. Uh, I'm going to go through some of this. These are the updates for all of the fires that are raging. 20 million people in the state are under red flag warnings. Wolsey Fire in Los Angeles and Ventura counties quadrupled in size overnight. Meanwhile, the Hill Fire, located just down the road from the Thousand Oaks Bar, where 12 people were killed in a mass shooting, has topped 10,000 acres. The Camp Fire, Evacuation orders for homes in areas of Chico, population of 93,000. Chico is 90 miles north of San, uh, Sacramento. 35 mile per hour winds are hampering efforts to contain it. It's already destroyed the town of Paradise, burning more than 1,000 homes and the town house, hospital. 40,000 people evacuated from the path of that wildfire. 15,000 homes are still at risk, a number that could increase dramatically with the next update. And you can watch these horrifying videos of people trying to escape the fire. Wolsey Fire currently measures approximately 8,000, and it's in a much more densely populated area. Last night it covered 2,000 acres, mandatory evacuation orders south of the um, 101 freeway in Mulholland Highway. Early Friday morning, the wildfire jumped 101 in Ventura County into Agora Hills, closing a four-mile stretch of the highway. I I'm telling you, even people who are not threatened by this fire are so greatly affected. When you shut down 101, you are creating massive traffic in the area. So the winds today will get worse, up to 60 miles per hour, very dry conditions. As of 5.30 a.m. California time, the fire was not contained at all and nearly 75,000 homes are under evacuation orders. At least 30,000 are at risk. All of these 
posts are just horrifying filming of the horror that is taking place. The Hill Fire spread to 10,000 acres, quickly shutting down 101 Freeway. News from official sources on this fire is not as readily available, but social media is filled with scary scenes. Of people driving out of the fires. Now granted, we have the internet today, right? Okay, so we know more about what's going on all over the world. But I have never, before the internet, I've never seen these kinds of fires happening over and over and over again with such great frequency. The horrifying realities. to evacuate, fleeing for the life. And what about all of the wildfire and all of the animals and the horses that people have? Boom! Fire! No time to evacuate. Jump in your car with your kids, with your pets, and that's it. I can't. This is very hard to take. I'm sorry, guys. I am I know that I'm I know that a lot of you identify with me. Um, I want to uh, just share this link, and I can't really tell you how to work it, but this is a site. Guys, stop it. This is a site that shows all the fires all over the world. I try to, it doesn't give you the exact, I, I there are no names on this. All right. Knock it off, please. There are no names. But it looks like an area of Pakistan is, um, the whole area is on flames. But this is a worldwide map, lots of different images of all of the fires taking place. Oh my God, fires have. I looked at this last night. This is the first time I'm back at it. Um, I did not... It's like Africa exploded in fire. Exploded in fire. This was not what it looked like a couple of hours ago. And all of the fires taking place so they have, it's a fire map, active fire data, fire alerts, um, web services. You're going to have to play around with it to learn how to work it, but I just wanted to pass it along. All links are below. I hope to God all of you guys in this area stay safe. Jane, please keep us updated. All subscribers in these areas, please let us know that you are okay. And I will be thinking about you guys a lot today. Don't, you don't have to worry about that. 